Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across the channel, I just want to greet you by saying, Hey, hi, hello. That might have been a little too much at our first meeting, but that really was a test of the spiritual broadcast system. If you can survive a greeting like that, then nine times out of 10, you made it to the right place. Put your spiritual seatbelt on. That means you are my new Soul Tribe members. Welcome. We love you for free over here. Please bring in your higher self and your beautiful divine spirit team so that you will know what messages are resonated for you and what is not. Just leave it. Drop it. Don't touch it. Put it down. Give it away to somebody else who can apply it to their own situation. If you're returning back to the channel, then baby, you are my soul tribe. My beautiful soul tribe. You know, listen. Okay, I was about to get into the remix, but it might be a little too early for that. Is it ever really too early, though, for a remix when it comes to... Okay, well, we'll discuss it later. Listen, let's get this down low. I'm going to call in the appropriate protection. I call upon the angels, Archangel Michael, specifically, by way of me channeling the light, the highest of white light, only the highest of white lights, anything other than that, baby. What is that? It's nothing. It don't exist. It's nothing. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. That energy is exempt from us. Do you hear me? Or we are exempt from that energy, rather. But it's exempt. From the universe like it's 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 been uh how do you say excluded oh that's a good word rejected karmic energy that has been rejected okay yeah that's really what it is we're exempt from it though none of that negative energy applies to us shout out to all the negative nancy's hey hey girl <laughs> call me when you get home okay with your negative fake ass what are you doing here you karmic karen peeking and prying and spying and trying to see why you about to be lying and crying listen sit your ass down and spare your cart you didn't know we was coming out the gate today you ain't seen the truth tellers lately don't you feel it in the ethers by way of the tarot readers the truth seekers the prophetess the prophecies are coming out the gate on fire Who's going to put the fire out? Nobody, because there's some things that just absolutely have to go. They have to be destroyed. Nevertheless, let's get into the reading. Show me what it is I need to see. Archangel Michael, please, and thank you. Justice, justice, justice. Justice is here. Justice is being served. <laughs> justice is being served cold on a hot platter. And somebody can't take it. That's not our problem. We're just here to read the energy. Yeah, somebody from the past. Again, listen, we're going to get a lot of these cases in spiritual court. It's very common right now, okay? I just heard taking no prisoners. Listen, the fool, Gemini energy. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith. They're being backed up by Mayotte who's spinning the block. Everybody wants to spin the block now. This is spin the block season. It's a hell to the no. Somebody could be looking at pictures and all that goofy stuff, whatever that is. Somebody could be driving past your house, the chariot. Okay, I don't even think you live there no more, but whatever. Let them drive past if that's what they want to do. In the famous words of my grandmother, let them, let them. Rest in peace, Grandma. How you doing? The magician, she would be so proud. She used to call me Airy Pooh. She'd say, Pooh, everybody I was mad at is dead. Oh, God, I'm so glad I broke the curses off my family. <laughs> That's all I can say, because she wasn't no joke. She was a cold worker, y'all. She wasn't no joke, and she conveniently caught Alzheimer's in her last days, and she don't remember none of the bad that she did. I said, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. You don't remember none of what you did? Girl, shout out to her. But see, then it made the family hate me because I was one of few people that she actually liked, that she never did witchcraft on. Okay. Well, she did try to bind my feet when I was little. But, you know, I forgave her. I'm still here. I'm still walking my path. Shout out to her. I used to say, Grandma, they're talking about me at school. I have so many enemies. I was in the seventh grade, baby. It was a whole earth angel. Didn't even understand. I was quiet. I was to myself. 
I could feel everything. I could see everything. I didn't even like to look into people's eyes. And she would say, let them. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, but they're talking about me. I said, they said that I'm having sex. I was still a virgin. I hated it. She says, let them. Okay. So in the famous words of my grandmother on a positive note, because she needs something positive in the afterlife. She says, let them. Somebody's still doing black magic. Okay. Let's just, let's just get into it. Somebody's still doing black magic. Somebody could be burying something in the yard, throwing some dust, trying to see if you home. These people are crazy. You got to be batshit crazy to do this consistently, compulsively, deliberately, every day, nonstop. Like this is how you're validating your existence in the earth. What a sad existence. Ace of Pentacles. Meanwhile, you got a new beginning. People see you as a walking, breathing miracle. <laughs> Aries energy, wherever this Aries is, this person is batshit crazy. Yeah, he's crazy and he's sick, stupid. That's what you get for abusing your power. The magician in reverse is giving me Aries energy. This could be a masculine, somebody that was obsessed. I'm getting just a really nasty energy from this person. Real dark, real, real dark, 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 dark. Four swords, this person could be sick from witchcraft. They could be in hermit mode, not going out a lot, just kind of staying bound to their bed, not eating. Oh, I just heard speeding down the highway on a one-way street. Somebody could be, somebody could get into a car accident, whoever this person is. Or they're, or they're contemplating something that's like real suicidal i just heard russian roulette this person could be listening to like dark music y'all like rap music Ooh, show me this emperor what the hell yeah Ooh. this person sent you death magic and it's returned to sender. Now they're sick. They did a death spell over you, whoever you are. Magic, the magician in reverse. Death in reverse, four of swords is sickness. The emperor, uh, definitely an Aries, okay? This person could be at a distance from you. Maybe they weren't at a distance initially, but somebody has really lost their mind. Somebody's like listening to, I'm hearing that song, I Shot Him, or some type of rap song that's violent. Something, 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 gonna die tonight. Like something like that. Is that Tupac? This is what I'm hearing by way of clear audience. Somebody is like um, in a real dark space. Somebody says, I have nothing to lose. Somebody is mad because they can't find you. This was witchcraft, though. Somebody buried something in your yard. It could have been spirits. Um, some type of witchcraft, okay? If you saw a jar or something buried in your yard and the top of it was open, like, um, like you only saw the tip of it, a jar, a glass jar with something in it, Okay, graveyard dirt and some type of some type of poison or whatever this is. Somebody somebody was very, very uh experienced with doing witchcraft and killing people. They've done this tons of times. I don't even see a face. Does this make any sense, y'all? That the darkness is so like somebody's engulfed in darkness that I don't even see their face. They they might have like some type of dark something all over their face. Okay, they're bound to this demonic force. This person is really angry that I'm telling this story. Somebody is heartbroken. Okay, I don't know if this is an ex-lover or what the hell this is. I feel like this is just somebody that's crazy. Abusing their power. Yeah, you walked away. You were guided by spirit to get the hell up out of there, high priestess. Somebody doesn't like your intuition. Show me what I need to see, please, and thank you from this dark-ass, wicked-ass, what the hell is this? I don't even know what this is. Like, when I say I see a man, but I don't even know what it is. 
I don't see a face. I see darkness. I see a it. Yeah, spirit says what I'm saying is the truth. Somebody could be pissed off that you're the high priestess and you know the truth. Yeah, this could have been somebody that could have offered you some type of love offer and feels as though you rejected them. Somebody's heavily in love with somebody. They betrayed you, acted immature with you. Now they're weighed down. This is the end of a cycle. Somebody tried to blind you from the truth. This is a dark ass worker. They want to apologize, but they're possessed with something. Whatever spirit or deity this is, y'all, this ain't no joke. This thing is dark. It's the kind of person that wears dark glasses all the time. Because if you look into their eyes, you can see the demonic force. Or if you take a picture of them, you can see the demonic force. Show me what I need to see, Archangel Michael, please, and thank you. What is this? Why is it? Why? Oh, oh, something that they did in the past was exposed. Five of cups. Somebody, somebody, somebody. What the heck? Lord, have mercy. This could have been somebody that you had an encounter with, High Priestess. Okay, and maybe you saw something in them instinctually and was guided away from them. Whatever it is, you turn them down and they feel rejected. Somebody is a real, like, real deal, holy feel ass warlock. <laughs> Whatever it is, whoever this emperor is, truth. Do not piss this person off. This person is evil. Or whatever is in them and or around them or controlling them is evil. I'm getting gin. Whatever it is, it's attached to them. It's a vicious spirit. It's like a dark cloud over this person. I don't know if they are aware of this or if somebody is using them to do this or what. Or I don't know what this is, but this person is contemplating suicide. They were also contemplating murder, I feel, towards you, Queen of Cups. Yeah. Somebody wanted to kill you. Somebody could have been plotting to rob you, kill you, rape you. Like, real violent, y'all. Real, real nasty. Caution, this could be triggering. Okay? Something that they did in the past has been exposed. This is the kind of person that was doing witchcraft over you, and they could have approached you for some type of partnership or friendship. And you're like, oh, that was a nice guy. And you're thinking that you're just meeting this person for the first time. No, baby, this person been watching you. This person been doing witchcraft over you. They just wanted to get up close and personal. Once they realized that it wasn't working, they could have come in to try to, um, you know, uh, connect with you romantically. Maybe there was some type of an encounter. Yeah, this person could have put you in a third party situation. They could have been in a relationship with somebody. So it could be them and maybe a karmic. Yeah, conflict. Somebody's fighting. I just heard somebody say, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. What? Somebody was supposed to take care of you, like get rid of you. Five of Cups. This person is grieving. They're lost. They're sad. They don't know where you are. Somebody tried to put a monitoring spirit on you and they can't track you spiritually. If you were feeling any itching to your legs, your feet, somebody mixed up something or some type of deity with some type of spirit in a powder. Okay, and was throwing it at your house or your feet in your grass, burying something, something on your car to attach to you. Okay, nine of cups, wishes being fulfilled. Somebody is pissed off that your wishes are being fulfilled and that whoever you are, queen of cups, you're psychic. You're a high priestess. You know what this person is doing. You knew what you know. You've exposed it. Death is in reverse. Magic, it's gone back. It backfired horribly. Judgment is here. Ooh wee, yeah. Knight of Wands. This could have been somebody that maybe you thought to entertain, but something that you saw in this person, you was like, nah. Something's a little bad shit crazy about you. You followed your instincts. Yeah. Here you go, right here. You held back your energy. You're like, no, you know that was a nice guy, but nah. Something's telling me, mm mm. Something this person showed you. That made you back up all the way, okay? Six of Swords, you came to calmer waters. 
tried to make peace with the situation, but this person did not take rejection easily. This is weird because I feel like they've been in the background for quite some time. I feel like they know you, but you didn't know them until they introduced themselves. But somebody was in the background doing black magic over you. Why am I getting that energy? Oh, wait. Yeah, the lovers. I can't make it up. This person fell in love with you. This person fell in love with you. But was doing magic over you before they met you? Could have done some type of love spell and it backfired. I feel like this person collaborated with somebody else. This could be up to three people. But this person, this Aries is the leader. Yeah, somebody's in silent competition too. Wow, what a weird ass energy. I'm getting like somebody hates you. This person was like... They want to take you out. They want to destroy you. They wanted to kill you. Somebody was going to get somebody to come and either rob you, like get you, hold you down, something, and take you out. If you were getting a really eerie feeling, like spirit was like, go, go, go. Like something, you're like, what? Just an uncomfortable feeling. Because not only was somebody plotting and planning, they were doing very, very heavy black magic. Something something has got a hold of this person. Whoever this Aries is, something has got a hold of them. Show me what I need to see. Holy Spirit, please close any doors of anybody trying to open up doors and portals on us that we do not authorize. I loose my angels to stand at the door to war with and or battle with anything that does not deserve to be here so mode it be yeah listen here this person is in a dangerous space baby first of all eight of swords self-imposed imprisonment mental 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 losing their mind somebody is in their head about why this magic didn't work you offended them you made them feel uh they're saying this is what this person is saying because they're delusional you made them feel rejected. You made them feel like a fool, like an idiot. Okay? The hermit. They could be isolated. Okay? They could be isolated. Which is not a good combination. Like isolated, isolated. Thinking too long. Playing dark music really drumming up a dark ass energy and they got an entity attached to them that's talking to them controlling them you know really trying to take them down could be fighting with everybody this is somebody that has a lot of fire in their energy somebody is really really angry like quick fast they fight they want to argue yeah they're fight. like this is somebody who's ignited really quick once you piss them off they see red they hate you forever three of swords somebody feels as though I don't know, you broke their heart? I don't even feel like this was a real encounter. Somebody had been in love with you for a while before you actually gave them a chance. The Eight of Swords, self-imposed imprisonment. Somebody is like self-inflicting pain on themselves by way of like mentally being out of it. Mental psychosis, Ten of Wands, this person's weighing themselves down. All they got to do is let themselves out of this mental imprisonment. This is self-inflicted. This is delusional. Yeah. The emperor again coming up. Nine of Wands. Somebody's obsessed with you. Somebody knows that you're an earth angel. Obsessed. Somebody could have some addictions. Yeah, somebody could have some addictions. Somebody came up with a plan to take you out. And when the witchcraft didn't work and you figured something out because you are the high priestess, somebody feels like you're trying to make them look stupid. This is what I'm getting. Somebody's like, I'm going to find you. Hierophant, high priestess. You could be a spiritual practitioner. Somebody didn't like the fact that you were a spiritual practitioner. Wanting you to stop something that you did for work. Yeah, this is a lustful energy. Somebody is like... Violent, y'all. Violent. Violent, violent. Knight of Wands energy is somebody that is not giving up with this particular energy they're passionate about seeing you demolished show me this aries what's going on what the hell they're angry that they can't see you 
that they don't know where you are. This person can't see you in the spirit realm. If they were spying on you spiritually or you felt like there was some type of monitoring spirit on you, they can no longer see you. The Empress is here. Caring, loving, kind. It's almost like your light really irritated whatever the hell is attached to them. I just see a lot of darkness around them. Queen of Cups. Psychic, intuitive. Okay? Knight of Swords. You could have moved away. You could have found some courage. You could have listened to your instincts. You absolutely did. Yeah. About this Aries. Somebody is spying or trying to. Somebody's trying to tap into your energy and mad because they can't see you. Show me this Aries, Archangel Michael. What's the outcome? Getting, getting karma. Something about you being at the, the good end of fortune and them not. This fell right on top of the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person is hateful. Whoo! King of Cups. Is somebody reckless in behavior. There's a lot of self-hatred here. In order to hate somebody else this much, you really got to hate yourself. Somebody hates life. Somebody feels as though they just... Things didn't work out for them. They just needed a victim. I feel like you were targeted. You know, they just needed somebody to dump on, somebody to take out. And now they're at their breaking point. I think things have happened up until this point to really push this person over the edge. The eight of pentacles. Okay. Somebody could be losing their job. Yeah, this person's having a nervous breakdown. Isolated, hermit mode, eight of swords, in their head, stuck, not going out. Could just be in a room, no light, just, you know, talking to themselves, playing something evil. Maybe they have a gun, weighed down, angry, mad. And you know what I heard? It's the demonic force attached to them that doesn't like you, that's on assignment. This person's possessed. They need a full-blown exorcism. But somebody was playing in the dark arts and it went back. And whatever this deity is, it's now attached to them and wants to possess them. Somebody is sick from, from death magic. Yeah, the will of fortune. The will is turning and turning. They're like running from the spirit. Somebody could be watching you publicly. If you're on a public platform, thinking about what they did in the past. Yeah, this is a worker. Wow. The lovers. This could have been somebody, like I said, that you could have turned down. Maybe you did it. I feel like you did it casually, though. I don't feel like you did something to emasculate this person, Divine Feminine. I feel like you let them down easily. I think it was early, uh, um, early enough that you realized in the connection, whatever the encounter was or the meeting was or whatever happened, I think you realized it and caught yourself in, in a, in a um, early enough so that this wouldn't turn into something real big. And this is what's interesting. It was not a real encounter is what I'm getting. I, I'm not getting you're with this person for like a year. It was like a relationship. This could have been somebody that you encountered like, oh, hi. Okay. Oh, hey. And you know, and maybe you thought it was coincidence. No, this was calculated. Somebody's been behind the scenes watching you for a minute. They just decided that day to introduce themselves to you. That's really scary. Something about being mindful of your surroundings. 2333, just as I said, a page of cups. This person wants to apologize. They came at a whole earth angel. Because not only are they being dismantled uh, by way of this magic, source of all things is tormenting whatever the hell that is attached to them. That's not of God. Four of Wands, this could have been a soulmate. You know? This could have been somebody that you were supposed to do something with, teach, help. Maybe you were on assignment. Okay? And I always like to remind people just on a real commercial break, just because it's a soulmate doesn't mean that it's it has to be romanticized. It's not always romantic. You could just be encountering this person to awaken something in your soul, something that you need to learn from them and vice versa. It's not always that, but whatever it is, somebody missed the mark. Yeah, somebody fell in love. This person will never admit that they just in love with you. Somebody found the truth out. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord. Obsessed. Lord Jesus. They could be watching you. Yeah. And what they will never admit is that they want to take a leap of faith with you. But this person is not in a good space. Okay. Again, they could have some addictions. They are isolated. 
They're spending a lot of time by themselves, which means that there's nobody there to talk them out of a crazy idea. Somebody was planning to attack you. And you got the hell up out of Dodge. Yeah. They were possibly going to send somebody else in to kind of love bomb you or meet you like, oh, hi, how you doing? Oh, good morning. You know, meeting a random ass guy. This person was paid a murder for hire. An assassin. Somebody was going to come in and breadcrumb you, okay, to take you out. This is how obsessed this person is. This is how, how you made this person feel. But again, I don't even think this is a person. I think this is the demon that's upset. If this was somebody that you had a soul contract with, they're null and void. I feel like there's a vacancy there. That's just a vacant vessel. If you met this person initially and they were still very much in their body and in their right mind, they're not anymore. There's something else operating in this person. Nine of Swords, whatever it is, it's going to take them out. Whatever they conjured up or petitioned, they can't get rid of it. And they don't know what to do. It's the spirit that's telling them to kill you. Yeah, this person's blinded to the truth. Wow. Somebody wanted this person to, I don't know what this is. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the lovers. This person did some type of love spell and it backfired. Now they're obsessed with you, but they got a demon on them. So the demon is mad. You're a person of the light. So you're irritating the demon. Like weird. They collaborated with some type of gin or something. Or, this is a powerful ass demon, honey. This is a vampire. This is the kind of person you're around them long enough. They will suck you dry. Like you can literally feel them sucking your soul out of your body. Drying you out. This is what I feel. Dried out energy. The chariot is here. You move forward. You could have gotten away. Yeah, you absolutely did. Eight of cups. Woo wee. High priestess. Somebody is angry because they can't find out where you're at. Show me what these people are doing. Are they looking for this high priestess? Like what? Oh, we, they could have elaborated, collaborated with your family, honey. I knew it. Somebody was behind this meeting and this person fell in love. You know what? It trips me out when I hear these stories and I channel them and the people petition these dark ass hierophants to do this magic. And then they find out you're an earth angel and then they fall in love with you. They're like, oh my God, I have to have her. Oh my God, I have to have him. Like you freaking weird ass. And now you're about to go, baby. You checking out. This person's in a cavern of hell. Their body could still very well be in the world, but mentally they're in hell. Yeah. Dark ass high priestess is behind this. Somebody in your family. When this person approached you, again, this was the first time you were made aware of them, but they always knew who you were. Somebody was waiting to approach you. You got out. You followed your instincts. Dark ass, wicked ass family around here. High priestess. Dark ass high priestess, dark worker. This could have been a couple. This could have been a man and a woman. This woman could have gotten jealous that this man fell in love with you. Wow. Ten of cups in reverse. This is toxic ass, dark ass, miserable ass family. Somebody thought up some weird ass, you know, this is what happens when people watch too, too many movies and they try to play this shit out in real life. Oh, okay, we're going to do this. And then, yeah, she's going to be at the gas station and then you go there and meet the person. And this person's a liar. This person's a liar. Yeah, four cups. Could be born in April. The number four is real significant, possibly the fourth month. Now they want to apologize. Why? Because they've been tormented by a demon that they can't get off. They're back. Somebody was very, very confident that they could get the job done and keep their feelings intact. And somebody accidentally fell in love and they weren't even with you for a long time. This was just a brief encounter. But I feel like there was something that you showed this person just by way of you organically being authentic. Just naturally being a light being and being kind. Whatever it was, you got your ass out of Dodge. I know that. Because you were like, mm -mm. you could have sat back after you met this person. I was like, no, nah, this person's still going through something. <laughs> you you tapped into your psychic abilities like uh-uh hell to the no but you did it kindly nicely and they still attacked you it was because you could see through them you knew and they didn't like the fact that you could see their demons this person's bound to the devil they're obsessed with you they're watching you 
They absolutely are. They want to know where you are. You could have moved to another state. Damn. 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 Anything else, spirit? Yeah. This person is lurking, murking, trying to find you. Energetically, though, but they're full on possessed. They need an exorcism. This is somebody that was very well respected amongst the dark community by way of, you know, dark energy. Like, oh, yeah, that's that's what's his name. He does da 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 da. And whoever this high priestess is, they absolutely collaborated together. The moon is here. This person's hiding. Could be hiding, but they're paranoid because they don't know where you've gone, but you know where they are. And they don't like that. It's like the tables have turned. It's like they were watching you and now you're watching them. You call judgment down. Five of Pentacles. This person could be losing their job. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. If they had like a regular schmegular you know, job outside of doing black magic, like as a hobby. Like, damn, what you do for fun? Well, I just conjure up demons. Like, ew, what is that? Is that why you here? Is that what you want to relive when you take your last breath? Just remembering how you were just tormented all your life? Yeah, listen, mm -mm. why would you be here doing that in the earth? But somebody got to do it. Somebody got to take the blunt of this force too. Because this devil's come to collect the five of pentacles. This person's going through poverty, hardship, page of swords, gossiping. They can't stop talking about you. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Somebody's watching you celebrate. Three of cups. You're a spiritual practitioner, a leader. Somebody's watching you get your bag and they're in the five of pentacles all because the back, what is this? The black magic, dark energy backfired. This demon is tormenting the shit out of these people. I don't know what the hell they thought they were doing. Show me the side priestess. Because I feel like she's lying dormant. Yeah. Seven of cups. These people could be on drugs. Okay. Yeah, they're sneaky and deceptive. Not to be trusted. This could be a Capricorn too. This woman, this high priestess, it could be an Aries and a Capricorn. Yeah, but they're they're um delusional. Somebody could be really doing some type of drugs, cocaine, meth, and and black magic. But they're functional, like you wouldn't know at first glance, right? That that's what they're doing. But they're sneaky and deceptive. Yep, they're fighting. Two people that teamed up. I don't know what the hell the family could have got them to do this. Show me the family, Jesus. Why must we take these roller coaster rides with these karmic ass heathens? <laughs> you're just a heathen. We need a commercial break. Heathen, you're just a funky little dirty scoundrel heathen. Y'all like that song? Heathen, you're just a dusty little busted ass demonic ass heathen. And we don't care no more about you. That's not my note. We don't care no more about you. That's not my note. We don't care no more about you. You little dirty little funky little <laughs> stanky little demonic ass little evil. You just a heathen. Okay, I went too deep. I went too deep. Heathen. Okay, 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 okay. Heathen. Oh, that's the end. Listen, I need a commercial break because really, really, let's have a conversation. Come on in. Come a little bit closer. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. Somebody created a whole mess for their life. For nothing. They're losing everything. They're fighting with this high priestess. Somebody is doing drugs, drinking, smoking, snorting, something. Hard drugs spazzing out this person's in hermit mode listening to old nwa songs violent ass gangster songs going crazy could be playing with a gun paranoid this person was coming to take you out or get somebody to take you out possessed this high priestess is not innocent this capricorn this person's sneaky and deceptive they could have done something to this masculine after they realized that y'all had a soulmate contract too. It's almost like they're using this masculine as a weapon, like a puppet, to do their bidding. This high priestess had an ulterior motive, but your family is absolutely in on it. 
or the family that you walked away from because I don't need to really see your energy here. Anything else we need to know about these stanky ass bastards? Excuse me. Because <laughs> y'all are funky as hell on a spiritual level in spiritual jail. Listen, you balance things out, baby. You call judgment and justice empress energy. You sat back. You listened to your intuition. You continue to treat this situation with love and light. And you got the hell out of town. Yeah, I can't make it up. You caused, you caused a tower. Somebody's looking for you and can't find you. Yeah, you could have gone to another state. Like, you really, really left. Like, you got the hell up out of town. Five of Wands. Whoever this high priestess in reverse is, these family members, it's like competitive efforts. Somebody was jealous. Jealous of your gifts. Jealous of something that you do for work. Yeah, I can't make it up. I can't make this up. Six of Pentacles. Something that you do for work. You could get paid for something that you do for work. High Priestess. It's giving me tarot. It's giving me divination. It's giving me psychic. Okay? Because the Six of Pentacles is here. Somebody pays you for services, but you're a light worker. You're somebody of the light. You were, you were advised to guard your energy. Somebody was projecting paranoia onto you. They wanted you paranoid. They know that you're an empath and that you can feel. So they were sending a lot of confusion energy, conflicting energy, paranoia. Wow. What's the outcome here? Please and thank you. I feel like you got the hell on. Yeah, seven of cups. Yeah, you illuminated the illusions. You are the light. It's giving this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, listen, everywhere I go, you illuminated these illusions. You saw right through it. And guess what? It had nowhere to go. And it went back and returned. And this demon, they can't control it. And these two people that were working together, they're fighting. They could still be doing drugs together. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Because this person is thinking to take themselves out. I just see somebody in a dark ass space, listen to some violent ass music, really conjuring up just more dark ass energy. But again, they're possessed with something they don't know how to get rid of. And whoever this high priestess is in reverse, they were never working with them. They were always working against them. So they could have, you know, presented to this person, yeah, we're going to team up. And I don't know, I don't even see that you've done anything to piss this person off. I just feel like, Somebody convinced somebody to come towards you. This person realized like, damn, this is my person. Or I like this person, fell in love. And this high priestess was jealous. And they were working together to do magic. But now this person's possessed by something that this high priestess put on them, in them. Could have put something in their food. Okay. I feel like they're bound to whatever they've done. Like they can't get away from each other. This is a real like soul tie because of what they did. They're bound to it. I just heard everybody's falling. Together y'all stood and was standing and now together you fall. Might as well stick together in hell because it's going to be cold down there. It's a cold day in hell. Ain't no joy, no luck, no warmth, <laughs> no peace, no fuzziness. You know you know how we feel amongst our soul tribe when we feel all warm and fuzzy and loving. There's none of that there. This is the message though. I love y'all. All my information's in the description box below. I love you. Until the next video, peace be with you.